Thank you. It was through a YMCA dinner that I first felt an urge for the stage. After dinner one night, I'd been asked to recite and get sooks. I became all the rage. I'd been booked to replace Henry Irving. His contract had come to an end. The poor dear, it appears, had been touring for years and had clearly gone right round the bend. They asked me. I said yes. We opened on Tuesday and what a success. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic to witness my theatre debut. The rest of the cast were quite frankly aghast when I made my grand entrance on cue. The scene of the killing was terribly thrilling. The sounds that I made indescribably chilling and haggard. I staggered as Duncan lay dying his death. And as I departed, I fear that I farted the night I appeared as Macbeth. It was no matter. I like to think it added a certain je ne sais quoi to the atmosphere. The play was ascribed to Bill Shakespeare, but for me it lacked polish and tone. So I put bits in from Huckleberry Finn. Pierkint and some bits of my own. Then somebody called for the author. He's dead, said the flute player's wife. These tidings were most unexpected and gave me the shock of my life. Shakespeare dead? Poor old Bill. Why, I never knew the poor fellow was ill. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic, although it was clear by act two. The mood in the hall was beginning to pall. We were losing them. What could we do? Then one of the witches tugged hard at my breeches. They fell round my feet. Everyone was in stitches. I pleaded, unheeded and stood there just longing for death. The victim of odium, I fell off the podium the night I appeared as Macbeth. Well, it wasn't my fault. The stage just gave way underneath me. One frequently encounters this sort of thing. Many's the time I've had to perform on a very shaky erection. I retired to my room to recover and escape from the turbulent throng. To calm down the riot and bring about quiet, Lady M thought she'd burst into song. Well, that was a bad idea. She embarked on an aria from Carmen, which seemed to continue for hours, but was stopped from giving an encore when the crowd overwhelmed her with flowers. Ah, the flowers. What a feast. They threw it in bagfuls, self-raising and yeast. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic to see my return to the stage. They cheered and applauded. I felt so rewarded to be leading man of the age. I pulled forth my sabre and started to labor and catapult, lay on Macduff to my neighbor. I clamored and hammered till my antepenultimate breath. It should have been shorter, six hours and a quarter, the night I appeared as Macbeth. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic, the audience yelled, you're sublime. They made me a present of Mornington Crescent. They threw it a brick at a time. Some bloke threw a fender, which caught me a bender. I hoisted the white flag and tried to surrender. They jeered me, they queered me, and half of them stoned me to death. They threw ats and sultanas, fried eggs and bananas. The night I appeared as Macbeth. Oh. Oh.